What's up guys? We're up here to pre-ride for Glen Park Enduro. Um, this is probably going to be the last Enduro at Glen Park, at least for the foreseeable future. More on that later. But it's kind of sad because this place is awesome. But uh, we're going to enjoy it one last time. So I'm going to show you guys all five stages. We're at the top of one of the stages. I don't know what stage is going to be what here. So you're just going to have to watch and kind of memorize the trails and not so much the individual like stage numbers. Um, but I think they're going to allow you to ride them out of order this year again anyway, so it really doesn't matter what stage is what. So, all right, let's get to it. All right, we're on the e-bike today. This is the first stage we're hitting for the day. Um, yeah, like I said, they don't have numbers, so we're just going with what we got. Now, there might be some variations to these stages. There are a lot of trails that have kind of popped up up here, and I'm not super familiar with them. So we'll see how accurate this video ends up being. But for now, it's always faster to go over that rock. So we have no clue, basically. I just saw somebody at the midpoint on the way down, and we basically have no idea what's gonna be what. These trails are awesome. Oh, just slammed the rear wheel. All right. So flat through here. I do think this will probably be one of the stages. They don't usually uh, cut this out. And it's gonna go up here. This is fairly new. It's cool though, it's really fast. It's like a rodeo section down here. So, yeah. Whew. <laughs> this is, uh, this place is awesome, but I think that that's probably gonna be one of the stages. Um, I'm hopeful because that's the only one that I like really know they usually run. So we'll see what actually happens with that. All right, so this is the second one that might be a stage. A bunch of kids up here on motorcycles. And ATVs right now, so hopefully they're not on the trails that we're riding. It's like weirdly loose slash grippy here today. Like it doesn't know if it wants to grip or slip, but I guess that's just fall riding in general, especially when it's this dry. It's way less sketchy than at home, that's for sure. Those trails don't do well with low moisture.
So in years past, the trail has gone to the right there and we've come down that gully. Just cut over. Yeah, sorry, I couldn't stop. There's all those rocks. Anyway, I think it's gonna take this kind of goat tracky trail. And then this way. Like I said though, just a hunch. But I think ESC has gone this way a couple of times. This way is pretty cool though. Cross the climb trail. And then and this has all been part of mass before. So sprint section. And then into the rotos. And out of the rotos. I'm gonna hold for a second. Uh, either just to the right right here or up there. It might go to the right and then there's an alternate finish, but it's like 30 feet of trail. All right. So here's the third stage that we're hitting today, or I guess third possible stage. I really don't know how to phrase that. It's got a good little sprint to get you going at the top here. Hi, you coming? Nice of you to join me. Hey, Katie. <laughs> what are you doing here? Not much. You come here often. I'm I hope I got that on video. It is recording. I just don't know if I could see you. All right, so I got baited into a mistake. Last time when we went down this, I went to the right there, down the section that looked like it was cleaned. But I think the race is gonna go this way because there's a specific couple of features down here that I've never seen them not include. This being one of them, right here too. And I'm just gonna wait for a second here. <laughs> Through the gully. And now we're gonna go left here.
All right, and then lots of flat turns. Oh, hello. Hey, it's a climbing trail. Be the climb trail. I don't think this is going to be the climb trail. Highly doubt it, but thanks. Those guys raced ESC earlier this year and they're pretty convinced that this is gonna be the climb trail. I don't think so, because Mass doesn't ever climb this way. But we'll see. And then this would be the finish. All right, this should be stage four or something along those lines. This is a bit of a reroute from previous, I believe. And then there's gonna be this slight climb, which isn't gonna look like much of a climb on this, but uh, it is. Little off camber, gap over the route. Little bench cut, stay high. Slight climb here, and then this section is the little gaps. All right, so first one, easy. Second one, break and turn, not too bad. favorite section in Glen Park. Drop. And a sketchy bit. Oh gosh, wasn't stopping for that. And Abby did it flawlessly behind me. All right, guys, so we're climbing up to go do what I think is about gonna be the fifth stage-ish. Uh, and I think we should probably talk about the elephant in the room. So I know I mentioned at the beginning of this video that this is probably gonna be the last enduro here at Glen Park, which is really pretty sad. But uh, I think there are a handful of factors that are gonna lead into that but uh i think the bigger thing really is mass is uh this the future of mass is uncertain this next season and uh that comes down to timing and scoring the gentleman who's been doing timing and scoring has uh i guess some other commitments that 
supersede mountain biking and it's understandable you know things come up whether it's family or work or whatever else but he's got some other commitments and he's got other things to do so they've uh, offered to rent out the equipment to someone um, I know Finnegan Harrington was one of the people that was potentially interested in picking up that duty and I'm hoping that he does so that we can keep Enduro alive in this area but we'll see what ends up actually happening there um, as far as Glen Park goes I know this is going to be the last race um, at least for a little while I think some people think it might come back but that might also just be um, misplaced optimism we'll see I'm hopeful that this race continues to run in some capacity but um, I think the main reason for it is the dog park at the bottom. Um, this race would be pretty disruptive to the community. Um, but I, I imagine there are some other factors. I know uh, Pocono Bike Company, who puts this race on, is no longer going to be hosting it. And that probably is a driving factor. I'm sure there's probably a couple other things. Um, but yeah, it's a shame to see this go. And like I said, I hope that either another sponsor picks it up and we can continue to run here or if it's the city hopefully the city changes their mind but we'll see but yeah I just kind of wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update for anybody who didn't see all the social media stuff kind of what's happening with the this race and this series so yeah like I said hopefully we'll have a mass enduro next year um, I know it'll be a little bit smaller calendar, but hope it can still run. So, all right, let's go up and hit stage five before it gets dark. All right, stage five prediction. That's a good way to put it. Finally figured it out five stages later. This is fairly ridden in, so I imagine this will at least be one of the stages, um, including this little sprint. Which is gonna suck on analog at the end of a long race. I love these ruts. It's so fun. If we're lucky, someone might come up and rake this out in the next week, but we'll see. Rock garden. Woo. Got the line right for once in my life too. All right, boys, droppers up. This is the longest flat section here. Part of why I love this race, because there's not a whole lot of this. Oh, never mind. I forgot, they did that. Slow. So you'll want to take this side cut here right there and then down this. I forgot they changed the end of the stage. This is what ESC did. Weather Mass does this. I'm not 100% sure, but the other ending is honestly simpler. So we'll go this way. It's just a pretty loamy, little rocky section. It's fun. And then it'll probably finish on that tree there on the right. 
All right, I'm gonna record the intro while we're riding out with the pretty leaves in the background here. Save some time when we get to the car too. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like. We are well on our way to a thousand subscribers and that is the next big milestone for the channel. So if you guys are not already subscribed, definitely get subscribed for any future content and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.